Well, welcome back guys. We're in the old computer room and uh, this is more for my uh, DaVinci Resolve community. Had a couple of questions and a workaround for a problem. If you guys have any issues with GPU running out of memory using DaVinci Resolve running in 4K footage, it's not like my computer's a slouch. I have uh, 64 gigabytes of system memory. I have two uh, RTX 2060 cards with six gigabytes of RAM. And if I work in a 4K timeline long enough, it will just say out of the GPU memory. So of course to fix this, since DaVinci has a non-destructive timeline, you can just pop it down to like 1080 or 720 and be okay. But I found an issue with uh, just the images in DaVinci Resolve. Like if you have text in a fusion composition and then if you make it in say a uh, ultra 4K, set it all up and then downsize to a 1080 to work so you don't run out of GPU memory, uh, only the images for some reason will just get really huge, and, but the text and every element you bring in there from DaVinci will just be fine. They won't actually resize. And I'll, I'll show you this problem right now. I have a workaround, so if you guys have a, um, this same issue, this is the workaround for your GPU memory, and this is the workaround for your graphics so you can quickly get into your videos and make these graphics out, pulling your hair out, because I'm coming from Premiere Pro, and it's definitely a different experience working with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So of course, you know, it's impossible to find a, a GPU nowadays. Let's go to my preferences. And I only have six gigabytes of RAM on my GPU. I do have 63 gigabytes now of system memory. So, and I haven't had nearly the problems, but I still can't work in a timeline completely that is ultra, you know, HD, because eventually you get that dreaded GPU out of memory. And of course, you know, getting a GPU right now is next to impossible. So uh, what we have here, <laughs> I've, I even tried uh, the fusion composition, right? So if I go to, uh, where did I even put this? Uh, bug, okay, in here. So if I just go to this, if I look at it, of course the composition, when I made it, I made it so it's, you know, ultra 4K, but it appears like it's even changing that too according to my timeline setting. So it's kind of kind of odd. Anyway, so this is just, a uh, very rough thing that I did just to illustrate this issue that I'm having. So if you go in here, I go to my Fusion Comp, and if you look in here, I have a background, of course, like you're supposed to, so it's not making these guys super huge when you put them in, so you go to Transform. They're, you know, the sizes of the actual image and not like the full screen, so I can move those around, whatever. And you got text right here. You know, this is just for uh, S and Giggles. I'm going to throw a, a Transform right here onto this. I don't have it on the other ones. Let's just make sure. All right, so while well, that's making it full screen, I don't really want that. But anyway, so let's just say we, we got that transform and here's a text. We'll just take this off because text. All right, so yeah, so we got our text. We'll stick it here. So, right, so say if you're working around in here and it says, oh, GP out of memory a couple of times, you're like, well, crap. Uh, the only way I could, I could figure out how to fix that was to just drop down a resolution. So if I go to like, you know, let's just go to something small to really illustrate this issue. Now remember how these guys look right here? Watch this. Save. Oh, what? Wait, what's going on here? Why, why did you guys get super huge all of a sudden? You know, you think that, you know, it's running off of this background one, which is the size of this. It shouldn't do that, but it is. So I'm not sure why that's doing it. And there's another illustration for this too, is like I just kind of dropped these into the timeline. And the reason why I been resorting to putting simple stuff like this in the fusion is because say to see this guy right here, like if you have your text right here, and let me zoom in a little more. Like that here, here we go. This image right here, right? <laughs> say you want to draw your, 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 your blurring it in. Um, but the thing is, you can only see your transform keyframes in the timeline. So if you go to your effects, like you are pretty much flying blind until you hit this. Like, are you like, where am I at? Am I blur? I have one here. I have one there. So I have to, but you have multiple keyframes in your blur while you're in your timeline. Good luck trying to find them, you know? So that's why I've been going into Fusion. But if you notice, if I go right here, if I have my GP memory thing, it's wrong. And if I get problems, when I'm over here in HD, right? Or sorry, Ultra HD. And look, now we're in Ultra HD. It hasn't scaled anything like crazy like this fusion composition right here. So if I go back to my fusion composition, everything's back to what needs to be in Ultra HD. But you know, if you go down to something like you know 1080 and 
and then all of a sudden come back here to work. You're like, what? What is, is going on here? You know, doesn't make any sense to me. So my workaround for this, if you, if you guys are wondering, and I'm not sure if this is this uh, what if it's doing it's what it's supposed to do, but if I go here, basically all I've done is just taken taken sorry taken a you know oh yeah I pretty much ditched Adobe. I'm trying to work without Adobe because they make made me so angry and you know and crashing with Premiere and other things. So this is Affinity Photo, and basically I'm just making a transparent image. A TIFF image with transparency and Ultra 4K, because that's what I end up exporting to when I'm in DaVinci. So if I go in here, Diffusion, and you know, I have pretty much the exact same thing. I'm, I'm running it all into this right here. Media in is basically that transparent TIFF that I exported right here. See that? Get the frame size. And as long as I run it off of that and not like, you know, a background and then drop the transparency back to run the whole thing. So it's basically essentially the exact same thing instead of using an image instead of a, a fusion composition with a background. So if I go here, now actually I'm curious. Let's, let's try this real quick. I, well, I don't want to screw it up. I'm curious if I add a background here and then pipe that into there, right? And then let's do alpha. So let's go back here. Let's see what happens. And if I go to 4K, save. Look, look, this time it didn't resize it. But it's essentially the exact same thing as this one, which is if you resize it, What the hell? That one says now it's not doing it. So I, I'm not sure if that's a bug or a glitch or whatever's going on here, but uh, basically that's the exact same thing as the other one, except I just started out with this. So I am not sure. And oh, one thing that'd be super nice. This would be super, super nice, guys. And I know some of you guys don't see the reason for this, but I'll tell you right now. Say if you're like uh, doing something boring. You know, I, you know, I do do video and graphics for a living. This is just my YouTube stuff, my, my fun stuff. <laughs> Blender's awesome too, guys. Anyways, um, right now. so say if you have like a super long clip, someone speaking at a podium, which you, you know, you can't, everything in life is not fun, people. You need to do a super long clip in a podium and you need to throw graphics in, right? And say if you want to go throw a graphic in here, 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 and do a little animation for it, since you can't see your keyframes on blurs or whatever in this guy, which is super annoying. Um, let's just go in here and say you want to make a graphic. And, I, and But the problem is you can't see, when you're in your fusion, you can't see the timeline behind it. If someone could tell me there's a way to see this without making a super long clip in entire fusion composition. Because if you have multiple clips in here, you know, and if you first come into this, it's really hard to see if this is a fusion timeline a lot of times. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess you can see this, it's fusion. But if you want to quickly get to those without going into, you know, your fusion comp, it's super easy when you put it on top of your video so you can quickly locate that and do an edit on it if you need to. By making this one, if it said a long, like 30 minute clip, you know, you'd have to go in there and then edit it. To me, it would make sense if you could somehow, when you're in Fusion, see the video behind it. That'd be super helpful. Anyways, guys, uh, that's, I'm not sure if that's a bug. You guys tell me, but I know it's, uh, it, it definitely threw me for a loop. So if you guys need a workaround for that, if you've been having that same issue as me, uh, yeah, okay, about to run on GPM memory if I don't change that. So if you have the same issue as me with uh, this doing something super weird here, like that'll definitely drive you nuts when you're working, you know. Uh, uh, save. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, but hey, I'm definitely liking um, DaVinci Resolve. It's definitely different, and it's good to get away from Adobe and try something new. I'm definitely going to stick with it. But uh, a couple of those issues that I'm I'm finding, if you guys can maybe have a fix for that or get me in contact with the right people over at Blackmagic to uh, report a bug, if that is a bug. 
but with that said, uh, you guys have a good day. Let me let me give you this. One of my friends, he was telling me, he was like, dude, you remind me of like Rick from Rick and Morty. I was like, dude, I'm I am not how 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 in the world do I remind you of that? Because uh I am basically not smart like like Rick. And then I just was recording this, getting my mic set up, and I know exactly what you're talking about now. All right, let's let's try this one more time. Come on, Mike. Be in that acceptable freaking range. Not super loud. Or super soft. <laughs> and Rick always burps like that. Anyways, I just leave you guys with that. I didn't realize until today why he said I um, sound like uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Peace.